Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm continuing with my book review of the Wim Hof Method. I have the book right here, it's great. I recommend everyone to, um, to read it. Um, um, and of course, um, it's okay if you don't believe that this method works, etc. You can at least um, try it. I myself am being pretty open about it and I'm seeing if I get results that I'm looking for. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video on another component, which is the mind, right? There were these three pillars that Wim Hof talks about, the breath, the cold, and the mind. So I'll talk a little bit about the mind. And the mind is about having the right attitude and being committed to these two pillars, the cold and breathing, right? You have to be committed to having like 20 minutes every day to do the breathing and going into the cold, which can be challenging, right? And so the mind practice is the following. Um, essentially, you start breathing a couple of times deeply, following your breath, and then focusing on how your body feels and, and stating your intention. Why do you want to do it, right? For example, I want to feel he um, happy, healthy, and stronger, which are some of the benefits, for example, which, are co um, which Wim Hof um, quoted in his book from the cold and for, and for the breathing. So you essentially state your intention. I want to stay in the cold longer for 15 seconds. I want to um, do something else, right? I want to um, do more push-ups, right? Because the Wim Hof method is great um, um, to energize you. So you can actually work out afterwards as well. So you set your intention and really reflect on how your body feels. So Reflect on those thoughts that you have about your intentions and how your body feels. And that's pretty much it. And um, if you feel any resistance, just keep breathing until your body and mind are aligned. So essentially, you just keep breathing, set your intention, and, and focusing on those thoughts, what you're intending to do, why you're doing these. Remember, you want to have a why and just um, seeing how you feel. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Having the right mindset is very, is very, um, is, is great. Um, you can do that actually after you go to the, after doing the breathing and before you go to the cold. You can, you can do this very quick exercise, okay? Take like five, six breaths, follow your intention, etc. Right? Because when you have an intention, um, you're more likely to um, stick with something. If you don't have an intention, you're more likely to give up on the path of achieving whatever you want to achieve. So that's what's important to just simply set an, an intention to stick with anything that you are doing. Okay. Um, yeah, so the meditation is pretty, pretty sim simple. All you do is you sit in, in, in a safe place, right? This mindset is like a meditation. You sit comfortably, start breathing. You can, you can count your breaths and pay attention to how the body um, feels, right? You want to follow the feelings, not the thoughts about the day. The only thoughts you want to have are your intentions, right? So that's how that works. And we talked about the breathing and the cold. I'll just do a quick recap. The breathing involves 30 to 40 conscious breaths from the belly, fully in and letting it go without force. On the final exhale, let the air out and hold it as long as you can until you feel the urge to breathe. When you feel the urge, breathe in for 10 to 15 seconds, release and relax, repeat two or three more times for a total of three to four rounds. And then um, that gives you the energy, for example, to then do your morning workout or, um, or yoga practice, going out for a walk, whatever. You can, you can do like a workout afterwards. You can do a Tabata set because it energizes you. Once you do the breath work, you can then, you can then um, adopt a strong mindset um, and then um, maybe post-workout, go and take like that cold shower. So you can do the breathing routine, then you can um, work out afterwards and, um, and um, rise with the energy that you generate and then you can take the cold shower af afterwards um right and you want to do all that before breakfast 
By the way, that's also really good for fat loss. I think Ben Greenfield talks about it. If you if you go and do a morning routine followed by a cold shower, it's a great way to um to burn fat if you do it in a fasted state, which is the case here. So that's kind of like an extra benefit, completely unintended, but that also has the benefit of um of it's good for fat recycling as well. Um, so essentially you can give it a try, these three techniques. And then for the cold, again, at the end of your warm shower, turn the water to cold. If you like, you can start by first putting your feet and legs, then your arms, then your full torso under the water, right? To make it easier and do it gradually. Um, also, um, you then gradually extend the time by going up to two minutes in, in the cold. If you are shivering, um, I suggest you Google something called the horse stance exercise or the technique I, 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 I gave in the previous video to, to warm yourself up if you feel that's the need, if, you, if you're shivering and you feel extremely cold. But I think if you take a warm shower, the heat your, your body will generate from the, you will be, you, you'll be warm because you're taking a warm shower anyways. So it shouldn't be hard then to stand in the cold um, for like at most two minutes, right? And you can gradually increase it, especially after like 10 days, your body were going to get used to it. So then you can start gradually turning it up or you can do the four week challenge I mentioned in the, in the previous um, video. In the, and it's also in the description in the previous video. Okay. The last thing I just want to mention is do not do the Wim Hof basic breathing exercise while standing in the shower, right? You want to do the breathing before the shower, not while standing in the shower. In the shower, you just want to simply be relaxed, not think about anything, follow your breathing, but don't do the breathing exercise while you're in the cold shower. Not a good place to do it. Um, don't, please, don't do it. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this short video, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I post great videos. I'm planning to post more videos in terms of breathing. Um, I want to buy... Um, some great books like The Oxygen Advantage by Patrick McGowan, etc. Et for like the Boteco breathing I want to do. There's a great book called um, Breath or Breathe. There's some great, great, great books on breathing out there that I also want to post in the future. Um, and, and continuing my channel that way. Um, please, please, please subscribe into my channel if you haven't done so. Leave me a thumbs up. That's greatly appreciated. And... Um, in the comments below let me know are you gonna are you gonna start trying this approach or not thank you very much and have a great day bye bye